Hi, my name is Ethan Strimling. I'm a former Democratic state senator, and this is Phil Harriman, former Republican How state senator. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, this week, last week, the Democrats rolled out a tax plan as a counteroffer to the governor's plan, basically looking at uh, much more of the relief going into property taxes as opposed to income taxes, but still broadening the sales tax, although interestingly not raising it as the governor had wanted. So basically this is about a $400 million uh, tax reform package as opposed to the governor's, which was probably closer to 700 to 900 million dollar when you look down the road. Phil, interestingly, this weekend in our column, you said that you thought this put Republicans on the defensive. Why did you say that? Well, I think, first of all, it's important to know that these are all proposals that are being banties about. It's going to get really fun, if you're a political junkie like Ethan is, <laughs> to watch the uh, budget process uh, actually get put together and finalized by the legislature and signed by the governor. So I, th I think at this point, the Republicans are on the defensive because for the first time in recent memory, at least my memory, Democrats are saying, we're not raising taxes as much as Republicans want to raise taxes. So bizarre. I, know. I wish I had been in the legislature when that occurred. <laughs> so if you follow politics, I might describe as a, an inch deep and a mile wide, you'd say, oh wow, Democrats want to raise taxes less than Republicans. The rest of the details are going to be fun to watch because at the end of the day, Democrats actually raise more money in taxes. They send it to another uh, unit of government. In this case, most of it's going to municipalities to mask the spending that's going on at the town council level. How'd they do? You know, a little wonky there at the end, but uh, we'll let you go down that path. Look, I think the reason it put Republicans on the defensive, and I think you are absolutely right, is because Republicans were actually shying away from the governor's plan. And one of the big reasons was because of who was getting the relief. Democrats, very smartly, put the majority, about 95% of the relief, went directly to the middle class in the form of property taxes and in the form of income taxes. So they got it to the families that need it most in Maine. And I think Republicans are saying to themselves, man, if we defend the governor's plan in which half of the relief goes to the top 5%, top 10%, that's a pretty hard sell among Maine people. Well, and fundamentally, the Democrats also made a tactical error. They should have taken that so-called property tax relief money and sent it to the property tax payer so they could open the mail and see a check. Instead, they're sending it to City Hall. They're going to cash the check, and whatever additional spending they need or want to do is going to come to the taxpayer in the form of a property tax bill. The second thing is that the Democrats, for whatever reason, I can't figure this out, don't want to recognize that the people who have the power to invest and create jobs tend to be people who've accumulated some assets. So why do we want to say to them, look, you're not welcome here, but anybody else who's in the middle income or lower, come on aboard. Trickle-down economics didn't work for Ronald Reagan, and it ain't going to work today.